All right, Libra. What's up? What's good? What's happening? Welcome in. Welcome back. It's your turn. It's Libra's turn. And you know what, Libras? You guys show up every single time. I'm going to make it a point to, um, I'm going to try to read for you guys all week. Everybody else might get a little upset with that, but y'all show up. So I need to show up for you too. I'm going to be reciprocal on that. Anyways, this is a general reading. Take what fits your situation. Leave what doesn't. If none of this hits home for you, try a different message. We're going to do a Celtic cross spread with the Light Sears Tarot. Cross watchers, anybody else that was drawn here, you're welcome to be here as long as you have good intentions. Let's get into it. For Libra, current situation, the Ten of Cups. Are you happy, Libra? Is life like a dream? It seems like everybody's happy around you. Life is actually kind of nice, you know? Um, even if there's some things going on, you're aware that these are just minor things, right? These are things that maybe we can't do something about them right here, right now, but we can. And we're not going to stress about them because there's, I mean, for some of you guys, you've already taken care of it. You're currently taking care of it. Or you will as soon as you can. We just can't right now. But we're not going to stress it. I like it. I like it, Libra. Yeah, King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Dad's happy. Everybody's happy. For some of you, this is work. Your work is going very well right now. Nine of Wands. Yeah, there's definitely some things going on in the background. Some of you guys are feeling a little bit tired. You're feeling a little bit uh, drained. But you know what? You look good. You look great. Libras, you look fabulous. <laughs> You've been through it. You've been through it. But you're still here. And you know how to appreciate that in every moment. And that's what you're doing right now. We're appreciating the moment. Because it doesn't always last, does it? You know? Yeah, you're about the warm fuzzies. In your foundation, we have the Six of Cups. You've been through a lot. You have a very difficult, rough past. But that doesn't define who you are today. You're not your past, Libra. Or whoever's resonating with this. You are not your past. You're not the same person. If those people were in a room with you, they would probably stare at you like, who are you and what did you do with Libra? I like this. Like, you've changed a lot. You've grown a lot. People can tell. They can tell. And it's a great look for you, Libra. Recent past. This one might be a little bit eh. But we'll see. Hopefully it's a strength card, right? I would say it all right there. What's in Libra's recent past? Please and thank you, Spirit. Ooh, we got a few. The Eight of Swords. But Temperance. And the Strength card. Oh, my gosh. I was joking. There are, like, 80 cards in this deck. I did not actually expect it to be there, especially because you say it, right? You already brought attention to it. Yeah, you're overcoming some nasty thoughts that have stuck around or... When people said things, uh, there were a couple of things said to you that really stuck with you, okay? Uh, some of you guys took a long, hard look in the mirror, and you have been working on yourself, and you've really calmed down. You're not as stressed. You're not as, I want to say the word vigilant. You're not as... Um, I'll be upset. All the upset, depressed, angry. I can resonate with that too, actually. Um, I had somebody, my grandma would tell me, Jess, you have a lot of angry in your voice. And um, it wasn't too long ago she said, it's been a while since I've heard angry in your voice. Unless you're really riled up about something that anybody would be riled up about. But yeah, Libra, you've really tempered this out. You've really, wow, this looks great. Like I said, strength. I mean, and there it is. You overcame this. 
you have angels here. You have spirits here all around you. You are a fucking warrior, Libra. You have been through some shit. You know what? I feel like Libra, in all fairness, in all honesty, if you became the old angry person that beat everybody with a stick or complained about everything and beating people up with your purse and shit like that, people wouldn't even blame you. But you're not like that. You are one of a kind. Um, what's in the crowning? What's going on in Libra's headspace? Well, oh, that flipped all the way around. I'm not even sure which one it was. The Hierophant, you are on your path. I mean, and it's so clear. It's so obvious. Some of you could actually be a leader um, somehow. This is technically the spiritual leader here. Um, but it's also the student, too. It's not just the teacher. It's the student and the teacher. It reminds me of um, professors, like at universities. You know, if they have to um, write books every so often, or they have to um, go back and do these other classes and seminars. And, like, they have to be very active, not just teaching, but continuously learning as well. Um, and that is the Hierophant. But it's also about being on your path right where you're supposed to be. And it's about being very at peace with the past. Libra, I'm getting choked up. Like, I, I almost want to start crying because this took so much. You had to sacrifice so much. You had to be okay with so much that happened to you that you and I both know you did not fucking deserve. But you are not letting that make you a bitter bitch. And that's a flex. That is absolutely a flex. I'm going to cry. Ah. <laughs> I think it just, like, you really, this, ah, oh, my words. I can feel how much this hits home for you. So if it's not hitting home, just try a different message. I can feel that this is touching somebody here. Um, in the near future, <clears throat> What's going on for this Libra in the near future? The Nine of Swords reversed. The nightmare is over. You are waking up from a nightmare. And other people see it. It's at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, the Seven of Wands. Because you're protecting yourself now. You're setting your boundaries here and really sticking to them. Yeah, and you're healing from all the hurt, the pain, the trauma. Like, I can't stress enough how much you have fucking healed. You've changed I don't want to be like that. I don't want to be that guy. If you want to be somewhere, if you want to go somewhere, you better wake up and pay attention. That's exactly what you did. Fears, worries, and concerns for Libra. Three of Pentacles. Yeah, because you were solo. You've been working on some stuff on your own and now you're just a little bit nervous about working with others because you just don't want a new situation to be that of the past and it bring you right back to where you were before all this hard work. The thing is though, because you've done the work, you've learned a lot and you're not going to revert back to that. You won't allow it. You would not stand for that. That would be an injustice to yourself. There's no way Libra is going to do that. Not a Libra. We're not somebody that's harnessing the energy and that was drawn to this reading, right? So yeah, this is all going to work out. Whatever your fears, worries, and concerns are, they're going to work out. They're either going to work themselves out. Other people can help you work on them. It's going to work out though. And then how it's being viewed, yeah, judgment. You're being called here. You're being called. Like, you know what you need to do here. Yeah, you've received the message and you're holding on to it. Some of you, um, you were waiting for an opportune moment to do something. And it feels like this is the opportune moment. Maybe you were waiting to be healed before going back out into the dating scene. Maybe you were waiting to feel comfortable with something about yourself before 
putting yourself out there in a way that um, an insecurity might be exposed, right? You try, you fail, you try, you fail, but the only true failure is when you stop trying. I don't remember who said that, but man, that honestly, that quote has saved me a lot of times. And I, I'm getting it here too. The only true failure is when you stop trying, Libra. So don't stop trying. What is Libra's goal? The Seven of Cups and the Lovers, just to make the right option. You know, making the right choice, the right decision here. Because there could be a lot of different ways you can go about this. You're just trying to, you know, make the right call. For some of you, your goal is to be okay with going back out on the dating scene. There's a lot of options. There's a lot of different people out there. What is it that you truly want? And that's what you did the work for finding out who you really are so you know what you're okay with and what you're not okay with, what you're into and what you're not into, right? Your green flags, your red flags, all that shit. Yeah, man. Ace of Pentacles. What seed do you want to plant? Or which seeds will you allow planted in your garden? What is the potential outcome? We have the Knight of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups with the Eight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Don't forget to water them when you plant them. Plant your seeds, Libra. Plant your seeds. Nice and slow, though. All right? Definitely not rushing anything. This is the slowest night. Nice and slow. All right? Like snail pace if you have to. You might even be moving so slow that it looks like you're not moving at all. That's fine, as long as you're not going backwards, right? Nice and slow for now, especially because I feel like you're still getting your footing with this new energy. But um, it's definitely going to open some doors. It's definitely going to clear out your heart chakra as well. I'm getting a fully wide open heart chakra. I'm also, because of all the blue here, um, I'm actually getting communication, a lot of communication here. But again, nice and slow. Take it easy. We're not trying to rush anything. Eight of Pentacles. Some of you guys are tarot readers. Some of you might... Um, you might be tarot readers or you might be initiated into it here in the very near future. Yeah, this is going to be a big change. A big eye opener. Ooh. And the Ace of Wands. I love this. You guys have three aces. You had the pentacles, the cups, and the wands. The only one that's not here is the sword. Your sword of truth, Libra. I think you just needed to hear it from somebody else. I think you needed the confirmation to come from outside of you. And I feel that's exactly what this reading was. You knew this was going to happen. Just like I felt the strength card before it actually came out. You called it, Libra. You're calling this. Nice and slow, though, right? Nice and slow. One thing at a time. Um, so we had Leo, Sagittarius, Taurus, Libra, Gemini, Virgo, and Scorpio on the board. I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. I hope this helps who it needs to, how it needs to. I love you guys, and I will see you in the next one. Until then, stay beautiful.